Okay, it's that time again. It's Saturday morning. I'm so excited. Um, I love starting my weekends off like this. And I am Katie Metz. For those who don't know me, I am a double diamond from Wanage, New Jersey. Um, I've been with It Works for just about two years now. Um, and it's been a crazy, awesome ride. I got started two years ago. I was approached by a family member about the wrap. And I wasn't too sure of what I thought, but I tried it, got amazing results. And I just knew that I had my hands on something really special and I wanted to share it with all my friends and family. And I got started in the business. I um, actually had to sell my wrap before I even got started. I really couldn't afford the kit to get started. And I just can't believe how much it's taken off. Um, mm-hmm. And I am joined by a lovely, awesome co-host. Catherine McDonald, are you there? Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> I love that we do this every Saturday, too. It is just the perfect way to, you know, um, as business owners and as um, just people who have busy lives for us to just sit down and stop and, and chat with other distributors and other like-minded people. So I love that. My name is Katherine McDonald, and I'm from a small town called Allegan, Michigan, and I am a diamond currently with It Works and been in the business um, a little more than 18 months. And um, I actually got started after seeing the products being posted on Facebook, and it wasn't the crazy wrap that got me into the business. It was actually the greens and the fat fighter. And after learning about them, we just really knew that um, – they would be pretty vital in some health issues I was having. So we actually signed up as distributors in the business before we ever tried the products. Um, But my husband, Joel, really encouraged me to to give it a shot, and so we did. And um, we're just really enjoying the the ride that we're on. And I'm sitting here in a hotel room with my four kids, and they know I'm really close to Double Diamond, Katie. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that's so awesome. I love it. And I love that you can work this from everywhere. That's crazy. (laughs) I know. I know. That's what makes it so, so cool. Um, You know, and you get to share it everywhere we go. Yesterday as we were traveling, just stopped at a a travel, you know, one of those travel plazas. And I had a network shirt on. And a girl was like, hey, that, that thing you have, does that really work? (laughs) Just from seeing my shirt. So it was a great opportunity to be able to share more. (laughs) I love it. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. Do you want to go ahead and bring on your guest? I would love to. Katie Dykstra, are you with us? I sure am. Good morning, Katie. Good morning. Good morning. Um, <laughs> I just met Katie. I, we've met a couple times, actually, but really sat down and got um, a chance to know each other this week while we were at a mutual kind of leadership event um, pool party. I know, pretty rough that we have to do pool parties in this business in the middle of the week. But um, that's where we really sat down and talked, and I just really enjoyed spending time with Katie. She's incredibly humble, um, just very um, – sweet, sweet personality, and I really enjoyed listening to the things she had to say about um, her team and the concerns that she has with the people around her and just her really desiring to see people be successful, and so as soon as I knew we had a Saturday morning call coming up, I was like, oh, I want Katie on there, so thank you, Katie, for joining us. Yeah, you're welcome. So, Katie, would you share a little bit with all of us? Um, you know, I, I don't even think I learned on Wednesday how you found it works and how you got started. No problem. Um, well, I found out about it works seven years ago, if you can believe that. Um, and the first two years, I didn't even join. Denise just, I, I'm sponsored in by Denise Walsh. We're really good friends that, from back in our college days. And so I trusted her. and. Kind of, <laughs> because it was more like two years to hear what she was talking about. I mean, we live in Grand Rapids where a lot of network marketing companies started and people have a bad taste for it. Yeah, and so I didn't true. even know what network marketing was, but I knew it was an evil thing. That's what in my mm-hmm. mind I thought, okay, mm-hmm. stay away, those those network marketing schemes, you know. I didn't even know what I was talking about, but I that's just kind of the – 
the, the flavor that we have here. So two years it took for Denise to just keep dripping and dripping and saying, hey, you know, I'm doing this with my business. And I was supportive. I was like, oh, that's cool. I'm, I'm excited for you. But in my mind I was thinking, okay, this is like all those other at-home businesses. You make a couple hundred bucks here and there at a party. You got to, you know. So I, I didn't really think too much of it. Um, and then one night, her and um, our, our husband, we went to a baseball game. And I know Denise well enough to know when she's got something bubbling inside of her. So she uh-huh. was rocking back and forth and just looking very like like she was anticipating something. And I'm like, okay, fine, just tell me what's going on. And yeah. um, she looked at me, she said, she just had that intense, like, I'm serious right now. Kind of she look has on those her eyes that pierce you. <laughs> she sure does. And so she looked at me. She goes, "Can I just tell you how much I made this month with the company?" And I'm like, "Okay, you know, I'll I'll appease her for just a moment." Like I uh-huh. really wasn't thinking. I was thinking it was just you know pocket change. Yeah. And it, yeah, it was not a few hundred. It was a few thousand. And when I heard that, then I knew this is a serious thing like I want in and so I said okay how do I sign up so that's kind of how the the um the flip switched for me um I have now been with the company for five years I just celebrated my fifth year anniversary I initially just wanted to make some extra cash I I heard her give her number and I just thought I could use some extra money um at the time I was a part-time grant writer and I was and I loved my job Um, but I was spending half of my check in daycare expenses and seeing my kids half the time. So I had, um, I had a reason. I had a why that I wanted to, um, just, I mean, it wasn't initially to just come home and I wasn't all in that way, but I did, Mm -hmm. I did know that I could use some extra money to free up our, our finances. Um, and so I joined, um, it was a slow start. Um, and it was not because I wasn't hitting the right markets or any of that. I think for me it was because I'd never done anything like this before. I The closest thing I ever had to sales was being a Girl Scout. And I'll tell you what, I was <laughs> afraid to death to go to the front doors of people who already bought their cookies. I was, I was just nervous. And so I'd ring the doorbell, drop the cookies, and run. So that was my experience <laughs> of... That was that was me. That's what I knew of sales, and um, I I just didn't know that I could do it or that I even wanted to. But um, that first first probably six months to a year, I was in observation mode. I was just constantly wow. absorbing things that Denise was doing. I was her piggyback. I was um, I was at every party that she did, and she came to the ones that I had, and I just really let her do her thing, and I was I was just watching. Um, to me, at that time, my business was more of a hobby, and there's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes that's how people have to start. Um, so I know, like, a lot of times um, when you get to the leadership level, you kind of get blinded and you think everybody should should treat this business like a business. But that's not the case. And so um, I really encourage you, if you're a leader and listening on this call, to to know that some people are doing this as a hobby, and that's just fine because you never know when they're – that, um, you know, they'll switch over to full-time mode. So, um, but yeah, at the time that this is what I, you know, I I was working part-time and so I could do, it works part-time. So I didn't have, you know, my whole day to to do this. Um, But, uh, you know, um, I think what changed my attitude and what changed my desires for the company was that I went, um, I knew that Denise was getting ready to go on maternity leave. And I knew that I wasn't going to have my training wheels anymore. So Mm -hmm. I, um, I took ownership of my business. And I knew that if this was going to still float for at least the three months that she was going to be down and out, that I had to do something. I had to get um, parties on the books. I had to go and, you know, um, I had to go and I had to um, train people, and so you know, right before poor Denise, right, she was like pregnant, and um, right before she had her baby, I was like, okay, let's do this, let's do this. You know, I wanted to get every last bit out of her, and I remember one time, desperate measures, right? Um, I called, I called my, um, 
called my business and I said, I'm going to need a day off today. I just, uh, I, I, I don't know what I said. I probably lied. I don't know why, why but I was like, uh, I have something that I got to do. So we went up north to my hometown. It was a blizzard. And we still blitzed. We got out there. We were in mud and muck, and we were mm-hmm. going door to door from for businesses. And I, we, we just wanted it. We wanted it so bad. And that's, you know, kind of our mo mode of operation. We wanted to um, do whatever it took. So, so that was uh, the lowest and highest point in my business. Is I remember just saying, you know, I just got to do this. But um, Anyway, uh, I'll be quick with the rest of my story. So, Denise, when I'm a tiny leave, okay. Shortly <laughs> after that, um, shortly after she went out, and this is the story she always tells that I think is hilarious. She's like, you know, I went on my maternity leave and I came back and I had a leader on my team. Um, where did she come from? <laughs> well, I had turned diamond shortly after she went on maternity leave, and then I went double. And for those of you who are listening to this call and you haven't promoted in a while, just know that we've all, well, maybe not everybody's been there, but I've been there. And I sat at double for a very long time, and it was discouraging. I remember having people in my downline saying, well, step it up. You know, like, isn't, yeah. it, it can't be that hard, you know, to, to get to the next level. And it is. It's a hard jump from double to triple. It's probably one of the biggest jumps in the business. Um, and I just got to a point in my business where I said, I'm okay with that. Like, it's not that I'm not working. I know that I'm doing the best I can do with what I have, and I'm going to keep pressing on. And, you know, a lot of times you'll get uh, leaders that will say, well, whatever you do, just don't quit. I, I halfway agree with that. I think that it's not just a matter of not quitting, but it's about being consistent and about doing the business too. So when you're in that spot where you just feel stuck, just know that you have to just be consistent. Do because what you're doing right now is the same stuff that made you promote back then. So, um, just uh-huh. keep keep consistent. Um, anyway, they announced the bonuses. Um, this is the first time they announced the get out of debt good bonuses, and um, and I was set up. I was ready to hit those bonuses. So it was like perfect timing for me. It was I I, I can't say anything but that it was in God's plan for me. So uh-huh. um, so at that time, I was able to hit two um, two levels of promotion back-to-back. I went triple, and then I went presidential, and I was able to get a $75,000 bonus. Wow. So um, it all worked out. It all happened when it's supposed to happen, and that's kind of my story. I really like so many things that you said I... I probably should be writing stuff down because there were so many things um, you said that really clicked with me. One of them being that, first of all, you talked about like your fear and a fear that you've had of just being a little bit more of a shy person. So I think a lot of people think, well, I'm not one of those people who just runs out and, you know, is crazy and like the life of the party all the time. So maybe that's not the right job for me or, or whatever. And, and I love that you're showing that you can be more of the laid back, more of a shy personality and still be successful in a business like this. You just maybe do it a little bit differently than somebody who's, what what color is that, a blue person who just loves to be the life of the party. Exactly. Um, you know, and that that's okay. And I, and I love that you talked about how you worked um, another job part-time and you have a family and you have things going on and so this isn't something that people can't do just because they're busy it's something you do at your pace and you just summed it up with saying being consistent whatever works for you be consistent at it and I love that yeah um, when you were mentioning about uh, being shy and whatnot like that's one thing that I struggle with in the business um, you know, it's not an easy thing to to be a salesperson, and then also to know that it's you get all this anxiety when <laughs> when you have to go out and mm. make your product known. But um, I've come to a point where I accept it and embrace it, and I'm okay with it, and I almost am proud of it because um, I was listening to TED talks. I don't know if you 
you listen to those. But, um, I was on YouTube. I was looking, looking at some TED Talks, and there was this lady that she has a book out called Power of the Introvert. And um, just some of the things that she said really struck home with me. And um, and then I started Googling and researching, like, how does an introvert work a network marketing or a sales position? And um, what I found is that we're really good at listening. And mm-hmm. how many people know that customers love to be heard? And when I can, you know, I, I oftentimes, this is like one of my favorite um, tricks of the business is when a customer calls me and they they just say, oh, okay, well, what should I get? And um, what I love about that is that the the money-driven person or the, you know, maybe the excitable person is just thinking, okay, well, I would recommend the skinny pack. But my first mm. knee-jerk reaction is to ask them, well, what are your health concerns? Because I want to give you the absolute best service possible, and I yeah. want to know that I'm giving you a product that is going to um, help address that that concern or that ailment. So I feel like I can retain customers better because I'm actually listening to them. Um, and, you know, the same thing goes for your team too. I mean, it's, an introvert can really get down into, like, um, how the health of the organization and how are we doing. And um, so so I think that there's some advantages that often yeah. get overlooked. But, um, but know that That's- you're normal. 50% of people are introverts. And so it's, the only reason why we feel like a minority is because all the people that are extroverts are super loud. And so we know that they're there. We know they're in a room. Um, and, but you're not. You're not a minority, and uh, you can do this business very successfully. Awesome. Katie, do you have any questions for Katie? <laughs> I'm, like, taking it all in. I'm loving this call. So good, this huh? Awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Katie. That is just you know, I think that's one of the things that people say, you know, well, I'm not a salesperson or I am not as outgoing as you. Like, I get that a lot because I am the louder version of that. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it, a lot of people think it comes down to your personality, but I think it's a lot to do with willpower and a lot to do with um, personal development. I love that you talked about TED Talks because I think that, you know, one of the best parts about this business is that you can also just grow while you learn. You know, you don't have to know yeah. everything coming in. You learn and you grow and your business does at the same time. You don't have to have it all figured out. I think that's awesome. So, Me too. Um, well, I want to <laughs> hear. You so thank you so much, Katie. <laughs> You're welcome. Hey, can I weave with one thing? Yes. Yeah, please. I always like to help people dream bigger. And so I just wanted to um, say a little bit about how this business has changed my life. So, um, for I, you know, it's funny because you make these dream boards, and I remember I thought it was the silliest thing on earth when I first started <laughs> making them. But um, what's really exciting is the longer you've been in the business and the more that your business develops, that you can look back on these dream boards and check them off. And I remember yeah. the first time I ever heard the word redreaming. I had such a different way of thinking that when I heard redreaming, I thought, oh, so they're changing what they want. But no, it's that they got what they want and they want something Mm. different now. Um, (laughs) And so I know what redreaming is because I'm living it. Um, But for me, uh, some of the things that we've been able to cross off of our list is that we've been able to move into a bigger home. And I'll let you know my first home was definitely a starter home, and we are the type of people that – you know, you just, you're in the house that you're in and you make it as cute as you can and you're going to stay there for mm-hmm. as long as you want, you know. And so I was yeah. we perfectly fine thinking this was going to be our forever home. But, um, you know, uh, I remember my first office was in the basement. It was on un- an un- unfinished area of our house. Um, it it was just, the, it was your typical base, dark um, there, there was only one window, and it was over in the corner. It was one of those ones you couldn't even, like, not a daylight window. Um, mm. it, it, it just wasn't something I would invite people into. It was one <laughs> of those rooms where you would shut the door and say, all right, this is my house, and show the rest <laughs> of the home. Um, but now we're in a bigger home, and one of the, my favorite things about this house is that my office is upstairs, and I'm looking out to a beautiful neighborhood, and I have, mm. um, you know, it's it's – designated for the office and um so so that was something that um 
I never like I wanted a new home, but I didn't I didn't even think to have my own office upstairs. So that's been great. That's great. Um, I do have more time with my kids. Uh, they at my kids private school, which is something that I wanted. Um, but also uh, the school in our area does a uh, part partnership, so I'm able to do a part-time homeschool and also get them into private schooling three days out of the week. So um, I get to see more of my kids. I get to have them in quality schooling, and I'm excited for that. Um, our tra- our, te- our team, my family, we do. We get to go on <laughs> they more. They are your um, team, too. <laughs> exactly. They root me on. Um, we do get to go on more vacations, and along with that, I get to travel a lot, um, just even going to my team. So that's been yeah. exciting for me. I love, I love the, um, I love that about our business. I love being able to move around to different parts of the country and um, get to know more people. Also, I have some edge about our finances. Um, we're not thinking about, you know, like the other day I just went and I got some clothes for the kids, and I, um, you know, we're able to give more. We've always been givers, but to give more organizations is also. So a, um, a uh, entrepreneur, he has his own siding business. And so it was really, it's always been really difficult for us as far as um, the seasons because sometimes he doesn't have the work and sometimes he does. And it's a lot of time has to do with the weather. Um, so this, with us having this um, extra income, it's allowed him to have the flexibility that if he can't work a day, it's not the end of the world. Um, and I guess finally, the one of my favorite things about how this business has changed me is just the people I've met. I have some incredible teammates, and the fact that I can go anywhere in the country and know that I'll be taken care of. I mean, yeah. it's not just a matter of um, workers, but me friends. And I have met some lifelong friends in the business, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. That's awesome. <clears throat> I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Katie. And you're absolutely right that we, this is a relationship business and, um, and, and that's what really, you know, makes it so special. So thank you for sharing all of that. Um, I think really, really good for, uh, distrib- you know, distributors who are already distributors who are listening in and for those people who are maybe checking us out today for the first time just to know that this is real and this is about real people and real relationships and real life so I really love that absolutely um Laura are you still with us I'm here hello hello I'm excited to hear your story Laura because I heard that you just accomplished something really exciting so um, I asked Laura onto the call. She's from a sideline team of ours, um, and I just love this group. They're just on fire. I'm loving watching them. And Laura, would you like to introduce yourself, where you're from, how long you've been on board, and maybe a little bit about how you got started? Sure. My name is Laura Lutzmore. I'm from Lakeville, Minnesota, and I've been a part of It Works for about four and a half months now. Um, I actually got started, um, I um, love Facebook, and I was following a friend who was on Facebook, and um, she had posted a uh, before and after result from her wrap, and I was so amazed by her, re- her results, and my husband and I had actually just booked um, a trip to Hawaii, and I thought, you know what, I want to give these wraps a try, um, so I contacted her, and she sent me a wrap, and for some crazy reason, I thought that this thing is not going to work, it, or, you know, if it works for people, it's not going to work for me, and I held on to that darn wrap for about three months. I kind of put it aside <laughs> and did not do much with it, and um, it was after Christmas time, and I was like, you know what, my trip is coming up. I need to um, try this darn thing. So... I finally gave it a try, and um, I didn't see dramatic results right away, but I loved how my skin felt after doing it, and I wanted to, you know, find out more, you know, get more, see how it would work for me. So I um, contacted my friend, and I signed up as a loyal customer, and I completed the treatment, 
And even after the completed treatment, so um, four wraps in, I uh, was still loving how I, my skin felt. You know, I liked the coolness of it. Um, and I called her, and, I, you know, she had told me about the business part of it, and I thought, you know, that's great, but really I don't know if I want to do the business part of it, but I really like the products so, this far. And um, I said, I don't know if they're really working for me. If I was ever to do this business, I couldn't just um, – go and do it without having results for myself. And um, she called me back and she said, you know what, go take a picture and compare it to your pictures when you, before you start it. So I did that and um, that's when I was like, oh my gosh, you know, this stuff really works. Is, you know, this is crazy and um, I love the product and, you know, what do I do to – to get signed up because I knew that I would um, forever use this product. So um, people ask me, you know, what my why is, and I think it's different from a lot of people. Um, you know, I've been fortunate enough to stay at home with my kids for nine years. Um, my husband has been able to provide for us, and um, I guess I didn't have a need to go out and bring in extra income. But I love the products, and I knew that I would use them anyways, and um, just by being excited with the wraps, I mean, I was already sharing with people the health benefits, and I thought, you know what, why not do this because I'm going to use these products anyway, so why not sign up and earn some extra cash doing this? So I decided to sign up, and um, things really started going well for me right away. And I'd say I think two months after I had started this, my husband came up to me one day and she said, you know what, I, um, I'm, it's really hard for me to, I get kind of emotional about this, but um, he said it's really hard for me to be away from our kids 15, you know, plus hours a day, and I, I want to be at their activities, and um, I, I hate my job, I don't want to do this anymore, and um just from the short time of doing this, I saw the potential in this company, and I, I knew that we would be okay, and it made the decision for him um, to quit his job and get a new job. It was just so easy, and, you know, we didn't worry about, um, you know, what are we going to do because we've been so fortunate to live the lifestyle that we have, and I just knew – you know, things are going so great, and I just knew that um, it, would, it would be okay. Um, I saw the potential in the company, and um, starting August 1st, he will um, be able to be at home every night for dinner with us and at the oh, activities. Awesome. So, yeah, it was, it's, it's exciting. I'm wow. so glad you shared that. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I have chills. <laughs> That's what it's about. <laughs> Absolutely. And it's so much more than, than money to me and a lot of other people. Like, it's the time, you know. Like, it's great to have a job that you can provide, but it's that time. And I love that. I love that he's able to do that. And, and that freedom as a family, you know, that's going to free up more of his time. And I just think that's beautiful. That's awesome. Okay. So. I would love for you to share kind of what getting started looks like for you because I know exactly how you got started and what that looks like because I think it's just so simple. But I would love to hear um, kind of how you got started and what the end result was for you. Um, sure. Um, but- <laughs> well, first and foremost, my first goal was to um, earn back my $99 starter kit fee. And um, so, yeah, that was my first goal, and really that was, um, that happened, I'd say, within 24 hours for me. Mm-hmm. I think I pre-sold my wraps before they even um, showed up in the mail. Um, you know, through the power of Facebook, I was able to, um, you know, post pictures and share my excitement about, you know, my new journey, and um my Facebook page was just going crazy. I could not um, keep up with it. I couldn't get anything done because, uh, you know, I had my computer on and doing stuff throughout the house, and it was ding, 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 you know, message after message after message. And um, 
so I, you know, I sold those wraps, and I think I got my first loyals all within um, 24 hours. So, you know, at least I was like, okay, I made my money back. If this does not work out, I am, I am out nothing. And um, the loyal part of it, I'm like, wow, you know, there's there's my four loyals. I have, you know, I still have um, nearly two months, you know, minus a day to um, get three people to work you know, do this thing with me and help them get their loyals, and I'm guaranteed that $500. So I started out um, doing the basic business stuff first. I made my um, business Facebook page. Um, I, like I said, I started posting. I listened in on the calls. I did my training, you know, when I could between kids' activities. Um, and I think the biggest part of it was that I um, did my launch party, I think within two weeks of um, signing on. So yeah, within two weeks, my awesome upline, they drove about an hour and a half um, to my launch party, and I was fortunate enough to have, I think, nearly 20 people there. And that wow. night, um, because my awesome upline rocked the whole presentation and all their help, I was able to um, bring on another eight loyals, and I had two possible distributors that night that wanted to go home and discuss it with their spouses, but they were really excited and, um, you know, within a few days, I had two more um, distributors that had signed up. And, you know, I was well over three-quarters way to um, getting that $500 and completing my steps. And I think I was, you know, just two weeks into signing up. So the other part, um, you know, like was talked about before, the salesman part of it, I've never thought that this is, like doing a sales job just because I think you know the product for one thing I said you know the name it works it's so genius because everything I've tried I've loved and it really does work so I think just by getting the excitement from the product and the company I just found myself talking about it wherever I was you know if I was picking the kids up from school or if we were at a soccer game or basketball practice um, it somehow always came up in conversation and um, it just hit the right people, and I actually had people contacting me just from seeing stuff or hearing me talk about things and, you know, tell me a little bit more about this crazy rap thing and the business part of it. And, um, you know, I've been fortunate enough to gather. My team is not huge, but, you know, I'm pretty happy for the four and a half months that I've been doing this from for where we're at. And like I said before, financially, I wasn't – that was not the reason why I'm doing it, but, you know – the amount that I do make each month is that much more than, you know, I was able to before. My husband's always been very generous with, um, you know, my money is our money and, you know, you stay at home with our kids, so it's not, but um, I've never been able to buy my husband a gift that, you know, I've actually paid for or made money to do that, so that's been great. And um, my son just started his... Um, his whole braces procedure last month, and I was actually able to pay for that in cash. So that was great, too. I love that. That's awesome. And how many kids do you have? I have two kids. They're seven and nine. Wow. So, see, they keep you busy, too. So I love that you can do this around everything. And, and I love, too, that the excitement, like you were saying, you were just so passionate about the products. You love them. You tried them on yourself. You had a testimony, and I think that's so important. And you were excited. So look at all that you accomplished in just such a short amount of time. I think that's amazing. That's incredible. Right. And I think that's a <laughs> to people, you know, you come across people who are like, I don't need to do this business. I don't need to make extra money. And for me it was like, you know, I love these products. I can't imagine not using them now that I've tried them. So it's kind of like, you know, if you're going to use them, there's, I mean, there's really no difference except that you can, you know, you can sell them and earn cash, um, you know, instead of just, you know, getting the products every month. So really it's kind Absolutely. of like, a, for me it was a no-brainer. Absolutely. Catherine, do you have anything you want to add? I just am like, 
I'm just still like back at her launch party with 20 people. That's amazing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but what I like about that is that the reason I think that she had such great success with getting people to that party is because she's just naturally excited about what we offer. And here I'm talking about you third person. Sorry, Laura. Um, you know, but I just think that, that that is something for all of us to learn as distributors is that um, we have to keep the fun in it and we have to enjoy it and we have to show people that it's not a sales thing. It's about, um, you know, just awesome products and feeling great and building relationships with people. And, and that's just what you've done and that's how your business has been so successful this quickly. Yeah, and I am excited about it. My sister even said to me one night, I think we were had our families together, and she's like, I have never seen you so excited about something. And, you know, you don't do it deliberately, but you do. You just get talking about it and, you know, what it's been doing, and you just can't help to be, but, but be excited. Um, yes, I I'm totally so agree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man. so awesome. Well, so, Katie, do you want to quickly share what people have to do to get started with us? Yeah, I think that's a perfect segue because exactly what she did, you know, I think the best thing that you can do is if you haven't tried a wrap already, you should totally try that or one of the other products um, and just, you know, see what it does for you. And then it's $99 to get started. You get four wraps in your kit that will cover the cost of your enrollment. So you sell them for 25 or $30, and right there you're making your money back right away. I love that. And there are two booster options. Depending on how many people you think you'll be wrapping in your first 30 days, you can go and take a look. There's a smaller boost option that's only in, available upon enrollment, and it comes with just extra wraps, extra facials, and some sideline products that you can you know, sample at your first party. And then there's a larger boost. If you think you're going to be wrapping a whole bunch of people, you know, kind of gauge how many people you think you'll be wrapping that you can purchase as well. And the value in these these booster packs are so awesome, you know. I was kind of taking a look at that the other day, and I'm like, wow, you pretty much get a whole bunch of products for free. So um, definitely get back with the person that invited you and, and talk a little bit more about that. But that's just the first step. And the, step, the second step is just getting the wraps on people or getting a facial on people and inviting them to try it. You know, get together with the person that signed you up, and if you can't get together in person, do it right over the phone. And just gather four loyal customers in your first 30 days. And what that's going to do for you is the company will give you $120 in free product credit that you can use to get more wraps if you want to just sell those for 100% profit. Or if you want to try the you know, other products and get a testimony on yourself, you can also do that. And then the third step is just gathering three people that might want to partner with you in this business and make a little extra money, and then you just help them get their loyal customers and that will guarantee you, like Laura had said, a minimum income of $500 in your first 60 days. And if you don't do that, it works makes up the difference. And, I mean, it's so, it's so real because I know when I first started, I was actually taking a look back at my first paycheck. And, and by completing those steps, my paycheck was around that. It was actually more. But um, just from completing those steps of success, and we repeat that every month. That's exactly how we run our business. So, I mean, if you're looking at trying a box of wraps, it's $59 as our loyal customer, but if you just upgrade $40 and that's all it takes to be a distributor, $99. So definitely take a look at that. Um, and it's been the best $99 I've ever spent in my whole life. I, I mean, wouldn't you agree, Catherine? Oh, absolutely. And, you know, for us to get started when – Take advantage of those boosters because when we got started, um, the sign-up was 99 but the only booster kit that was available was 499 And we knew we wanted to get started big, so I actually started going through my house and selling stuff on eBay to buy that big <laughs> booster kit. <laughs> um, and it was totally worth it. And um, I think it's really important to mention, too, that we're in the last few days of our um, good bonus period, and that anybody who joins our business, um, before the end of the month can uh, have the opportunity to have three full calendar months to reach the diamond level and get a $10,000 bonus. Exactly, and it's so doable. I mean, this company is a debt-free company. 
You know, it's not a flash in the pan. It's not going anywhere. We are just featured in um, the Wall Street Journal, which is so exciting. Just opened a new headquarters and paid cash for it. So it's a debt-free company, and the whole premise is just to get you debt-free. So they pay out cash bonuses. We don't have any fancy cars or fancy trips, but I love that you have the freedom um, to spend that however you need to, according to your family. So I think that's awesome. Um, I would love to go back around just one more time and, and talk to these ladies about why now. You know, why does it work? Um, why is it the company to get involved in right now? So I guess I'll go back to Katie first. Katie, do you have anything to add um, about, you know, the timing of the company right now? Are you, Are you talking to me, Katie? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, I just, um, talking about the timing of the business, you know, I think a lot of times just um, it's easy to think, oh, my area is too saturated or, you know, uh, everybody's heard about that crazy rap thing. What, we're, what our team is finding right now is that there are a lot of people that have heard about us, but that doesn't mean that they haven't tried the rap yet. And so it's really exciting because it's getting to be not just um, – not so much where we're having to lay the foundation. I remember going to expos in the beginning where it was like people are saying, what, what is your company at work? Um, and now it's turned into the point where they're saying, oh, yeah, I, I've heard of that. I haven't tried one yet. So I think that we're still at a we're, – we're still growing, you guys. And the fact that we're in, getting now into other countries who, um, you know, they are experiencing now what we experienced five years ago. So there's a lot of room to grow, and it, it's definitely still huge opportunities for growth within the business as a whole, but within your personal organization as well. Absolutely. I mean, the, the company, I think, has 90,000 distributors right now worldwide, and there are way more people than that in the whole world, and I just think that that is so amazing. I love that you brought that up, and I love that too. It is true. When you go now, people might have heard of it, but they don't know where to get it. So, you know, eventually every person is going to hear about it or it's just a matter of are they going to go with you or somebody else, you know. So, um, Laura, do you have anything you want to add about the company or getting started now? You know, I just, in the short time I've been with it, I've just seen how it's grown even in that time. And, um, you know, people say you, if you get into a company, you know, under 100,000 representatives, you know, imagine, you know, what it's going to look like in four or five years. You know, if you could see, you know, people who started with Avon or whatever, you know, where they're at now. And it's just, it's just a no-brainer. It's so easy to become a part of, and it's risk-free. And, um, you know, I have – had my ups and downs with this company, and sometimes you get in a funk, but never one day have I regretted um, joining the party. And, you know, my only regret really is that I didn't know about this earlier. So, you know, if you can go out and share with people, because um, I know, you know, once they try it, they'll feel the same way, like, I love this. I wish I would have um, found out about this earlier. And I was the same way. I've been into tanning salons or hair salons, and I've seen this wrap thing, and I've grabbed a business card and not even really looked at it. So I've known about it for a couple years, but I haven't truly researched and really found out about it. And I just wish that somebody would have approached me or I would have come across a Facebook post, you know, two or three years ago because I can only imagine where I would be sitting right now. Absolutely. Catherine, do you have anything you want to add? <clears throat> no, um, just the things that both Katie and Laura mentioned. And um, one thing that catches me, just kind of catches me off guard when I think about it, is the highest rank that we have in our company is called Black Diamond. And um, we only have two Black Diamonds in our, our entire company. And that just like blows me away. Um, we only have two. And um, there's just so much space to grow. I was talking to a couple yesterday, and, and I said they, they really are interested in the rap. And I said, then just so you know, there's a great opportunity here to make some really good money. And they said, are you, really? And I said, we are one of the fastest-growing companies in the wellness industry right now. I said, but we're one of the smallest. 
So that means there's a lot of people who need to hear about it, and there's a lot of money to be made. And they're like, oh. <laughs> you know, I just think it's just make a decision. It's $99. And we spend $99 on just about anything um, pretty quickly. So why not do something that could completely change your family's life? Absolutely. And, you know, I just think why not? You know, give it a chance. See how it goes for you. And, and, you know, most people say, oh, I'll give it a month or two and see how it goes. Give it a year. You know, if, you, if you've just gotten started maybe in the business, you already are a distributor, give it a year. See what it does for you. Because I know for me in a year, my business looked completely different than it did when I first got started. So um, get back with the person that invited you to this call. This has been an amazing, powerful call. I, you know, I love listening to you two ladies. Thank you so much for your time. And Thank you guys for joining us on this Saturday morning. We're here every Saturday at 9 a.m. Eastern time. So if you are around next week, we'd love to have you on again. And, and thank you, ladies. Have an awesome, awesome weekend. Thanks. Thanks for having us on. This has been fun. <laughs> thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys.